good to see everybody. We're going to do another dance lesson. And today's dance lesson is going to be all based on this fabulous book called Giraffes Can't Dance. It was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing tall, still and munching on the leaves. But when he tried to run around, oh, he buckled at his knees. <laughs> now, every year in Africa, they held a jungle dance. Every single animal, they turned up to skip and prance. And this year, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt very sad. Why do you think he was sad? Or why do you think he was sad? Oh, that's right. Because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. But the warthog started waltzing, and the rhinos rock and rolled, and the lions did the tango, the dump, 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 elegant and bold. The chips all did a cha cha, one, two, cha cha, -cha with a Latin flair, and the eight baboons then teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Let's do the waltz. This is a kind of a review from last time that we waltzed, but let's waltz like the warthogs. Oh, and what? dancing that with me just like the warthogs waltzing away now let's do some rock and roll with those rhinoceroses here's that rock and roll Thank <laughs> you. 
So that was our fun, fun cha-cha-cha that we did with the chimps. Now, like the baboons did, we're going to do a little Scottish reel. Let's have fun with it and keep moving the whole time. One, step, hop, hop, step, hop, step, hop, step, circle. That's called a figure eight. Three hands, switch hands, circle. And you're the one in the middle. Show off. Good job. So after all of that dancing from all of those animals, this is what happened next in the story. Well, and Gerald swallowed bravely, and he walked towards the floor. But the lion saw him coming, and, ah, ha, 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 and they began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald. The animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Well, Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted on the spot. Can you freeze? There, right, he thought. I'm useless. I feel like such a clod. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So, so sad and alone. He found a clearing and he looked up in the sky. Look up in the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered. Oh, with a sigh. Speaking of full moons, just like Gerald saw, last night we had a full moon. And this is an image of it. Did you look up at the full moon? If you haven't, it's something beautiful to see. Oh, it's so beautiful. Excuse me, <coughs> called the cricket, who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and he picked up his violin. Then Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hoofs had started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck kept swaying and his tail was swishing around. He threw his legs out sideways and swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and looked into the air. 
go, Gerald, go! He felt so wonderful, his mouth was open wide. Gerald felt so wonderful. I'm dancing! Yes! I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Yay, Gerald! Yay, go Gerald! Everybody clap for Gerald and for you. Then, one by one, each animal who'd been there at the dance, Gerald arrived and boogied on and watched him make quite an entrance. Oh, yay, it's a miracle. It must be in a dream for us. Gerald, the best dancer that we ever, ever seen. Go, Gerald, go. Go, Gerald, go. How did you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us, they asked. Well, Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. Then he raised his head, looking up at the moon and the stars above. <sighs> we all can dance, he said, when we find music that we love. Well, that was our story about Gerald talking about giraffes can't dance. But we found out that they can if they find the right music. I hope that after you leave this dance class that you will put on some of your favorite music. Maybe some, I don't know, some Wiggles or some Skillet or some Howie Day. Anything that you really like to dance to or Justin Timberlake like we danced last week or some Lori Berkner, whatever you like to listen to and keep that dance party going. I will see you next time and we're going to continue our story about Gerald and some of the sequencing of it. Bye. Thank you.